Hello, and welcome back to Dump Slate, a podcast about movies. My name is Felix, and I'm your host. First off, thank you so much for being here for episode one of season one, take two for Dump Slate. I know that was a mouthful, but I just really want to thank y'all and appreciate y'all for listening because uh, I'm really excited about this season, but we only have four minutes and 20 seconds, so let's get into it. Today, we're talking about Didi, written and directed by Sean Wang. It's his first full feature debut. He did direct Nene and Waipo, a documentary short film that was nominated for the Academy, but it did lose to The Last Repair Shop. The film is starring Isaac Wang as Chris, Shirley Chen as his sister Vivian, Cheng Li Hua as Chris's grandmother, who is actually Sean's real grandmother, and then Joan Chen as Chris's mom. She was in The Last Emperor in 1987, which actually won Best Picture that year, and was also featured in David Lynch's Twin Peaks. Dee Dee follows Chris during his last summer before freshman year at high school, where he deals with relationship issues, girls, and how to skateboard. The movie is fucking awesome, and it's just a really fun film. You can feel how personal it is to Sean when you're watching it. If you were in middle school between 2006 and 2010, this is a pretty hard watch only because you can really admit to the cringiest stuff that happens on screen because you actually experienced that if you're like me. But more than that, the overall depth of the entire film is fun and really just makes you reminisce. Sean really puts you in 2008 between the AOL instant messaging, the good Charlotte posters and horrible style of kids during that time. While the film revolves around heavy themes such as relationships, love interests and identity um the pacing really does a good job of making it feel more like a comedy and just with more emotion it's really what judd apatow movies want to be sean's writing of dialogue um is so amazing and accurate to the time i'm guessing he was that age uh or or whatnot during that time uh but the the dialogue is spot on to how we talked as kids um And Chris sucked. Like, he really knows how to make a shitty teenager. Uh, He's a really shitty son, plays a really shitty brother. And this movie really made me just want to call my mom and sister and tell them I love them. Watching this as an adult, you can actually see how cool mom's Chris is compared to the overbearing mother-in-law who lives with them while Chris's dad works overseas. Even though she is cool... Uh, Chris doesn't see it as a teenager and he just doesn't understand. He yells at his mom. He thinks she's embarrassing and even shoves her out of his room. Honestly, I don't know how this kid got away with that because I would have been absolutely slapped if I did that to my mom. Um, My favorite part of the film is Joan uh, or Chris's mom's performance and monologue to Chris during the third act. It's a really emotional scene and makes you think about what being a mother is like. Um, While there is so much more to this film, you're going to need to watch it to experience it fully while you laugh and just reminisce being a shitty teenager. Uh, Now to the important and fun things. My rating on Letterboxd is going to be a 4.5. I'm going to post what my ratings mean somewhere. Uh, It's almost a perfect film. Sean did a great job of making you feel like you were in it. And uh, if you're like me and you were that age during that time, you can really truly appreciate how accurate this is. Uh, Average rating on Letterboxd, 4.1. That's a definitely watch uh if you come across this film or and or you can rent it for a few bucks uh really fun to watch uh my favorite letterboxd review uh was by drew being a 14 year old boy in 2008 seems awful i'm so glad i didn't have to do that um you're right yeah we were pretty shitty is this film stoner friendly 100 percent. you see dd wu-tang a blunt if you don't know what that means watch the film to find out would you watch with your parents look at me right now You better not watch this with your parents. If you were my age during this time, all the stories of how cringy you were are just going to pop up. Anyway, guys, I only have a few more seconds left. Thank you again so much for watching. Join us next week on Monday at 420 for episode two of Dump Slate and Cut. Brought to you by Dump Slate Productions.